Welcome back to this week's episode of the SMS Weekly Digest. The Mouth of South. I'm Austin Woodsman. And I'm Jessica Chaitis. This week's teacher was Miss Shelton. Our winner was... Here's next week's photo. Be sure to drop off your guesses in the library. If you guess correctly, you can win some sweet prizes from the e-leaders. So, what's for lunch this week? And now, the weekly Bagooder. Hoagies and grinders, hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans, meatloaf sandwich. Slobby dough, slap, slobby dough, slobby dough, slap, slobby dough, come on. Slobby dough, slap, slobby dough, you die. Slobby dough. This week we met with Mara Anslam. There's a new kid in What grade are you in? I'm in eighth. What school did you come from? I went to East before this. Uh, what do you like about South? So um, all the teachers are really nice and everyone else seems nice uh, What's your favorite subject? Um, probably drama. Uh, what is something that everyone should know about you? Um, I like school. I don't know. Just another new kid in town. Mr. Stat now with some very important words of wisdom that can affect the rest of your life. Good morning, boys and girls. Today's words of wisdom are remember other people's birthdays. It will make them very happy that you remembered. Thank you and have a great day. Now to Dr. G with Principles Minute. What should students know as we uh, leave the basketball season and enter track? Well, basketball is going to wrap up. Um, this week we have a couple of home games, and uh, next week they'll start their tournament. So the boys will be finishing up. And uh, track's going to be starting in March. So if you are a student who is interested in participating in track, you need to make sure that you have a physical on file and that you just listen for the announcements from Coach Peters. He's going to let us know when track begins and when the tryouts are and, and what all else they need. So if you are interested, make sure we get that uh, physical on file. Okay. Thank, Thank you. That was easy. Good job, Denver Broncos, Super Bowl champs. If you like memes, then you will like this week's meme moment. Now Mrs. Narrow with some wise words of counsel. Do you have any advice for kids who are getting bullied? Absolutely. Of course I do. Um, kids, if anybody is making you feel uncomfortable over and over and over again by whatever their communication or however they're interacting with you, you need to come and talk to me because it could be a bully situation or it could be just a really easy problem um, that we can help you take care of and then it's no big deal. So why would you go around completely all day feeling uncomfortable here at school because you're supposed to be safe 
and in an environment where you can be ready to learn when you're here. So it happens a lot. Kids think something's a really, really big deal. And when they come and talk to us about it, it's really not that big of a deal. Also, thank you everyone for um, celebrating counselor school, school Counselor Week last week. It was awesome. All the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups that I received, the nice signs that were made, the cards, the Starbucks cards. You know me. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Starbucks. Also, is there any student missing this binder at SMS? This student, any student, this one right here? It's been in my office for about a week. Also, Now, we go back to the most interesting man alive. He is the most interesting man in the world. Greetings, my friends. You know, all of my life, I've been a great music lover. All of the great composers and musicians have been favorites of mine. Great ones like Mozart, Beethoven, and Morgan. Yeah, <laughs> did I say Morgan? Stay healthy, my friends. We love seeing all your selfies. Send them in. And now, the selfie second. If you would like to be part of the uh, selfie second, then ta follow us and tag yourselves with hashtag SMS selfie second or tag our account at SMS Weekly Digest. This week we have a new segment called La Biblioteca. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to read a book with romance and power all in one? I haven't either, until I read the book, Unravel Me, by Tiara Mafi. Unravel Me is a book about a girl who feels that she is nothing. The only person who has been there for her in her life is Adam, her first love. But it's hard to love someone you hurt every time you try to touch them. Juliet has been rejected by her parents and used by her enemy, Warner, for most of her life. And when she finally decides to take action, will she hurt the ones who claim to love her, Adam, and her enemy, Warner? Or will she take the easy way out? This book will have you on the edge of your seats, leave you asking questions after every chapter. And will you be able to handle the love triangle between Juliet and the brothers? Or the war, the secrets, her deadly touch? But most importantly, would Juliet be able to handle the big surprise coming her way? Read this book to find out. Now we go to Levi and Zach with Currently Current. Hello, and welcome back to Currently Current. I'm Levi Sooksbury. And I'm Zachary Cook. The yeah. person who found the ducky was, drum roll please. <laughs> Davis Breaker. Ducky mo, ducky mo, mo. Ducky mo, ducky mo, mo. The duck who is located in, I'm sorry, please, we will allow you to go rage mode right now. But currently current, when Levi said, look, there's one. We do apologize, as where it says uh, on our website, remember, if the ducky is not currently current, it does not count. I should have taken that off, I am sorry. Please don't hurt us! This yeah. week's random days are February 15th, Singles Awareness Day, February 16th, National Almond Day, not Fe National 16th Day. February 17th, National Cabbage Day. Cabbage. Cabbage. All right, and now for this week's Donald Trump quote. I'm a 
And now, as we do not want to support one political side, here is our news segment, the random Hillary Clinton video of the week. <laughs> ah, they go together perfectly. His amazing quotes, her somewhat evil laugh. Donald Trump was not present at the 2016 Iowa d debate because he didn't like what Fox News was saying about him and wanted to prove his point. And I'm very excited for this next one because it is something that I am very passionate about. But, the Legend of Zelda series is nearing their 30th anniversary, and it will be on February 21st, 2016. So all you Legend of Zelda fans, please enjoy that day and play Legend of Zelda, whichever one's your favorite. So what is the SMS Archery Club? Okay, boys and girls, Archery Club is a club where you will learn the international shooting style, and our number one priority is safety for everyone. So first we learn the fundamentals without shooting arrows, and then once you have the fundamentals mastered, then we will let you start shooting arrows at the targets. And if you need any help, we'll be happy to help you with that. So if you have any questions about it, come see me. It's on Mondays after school from 3.40 to 4.40. I hope you can come and visit with us. Thank you. In the meantime, let's see what our teachers are doing. A student nominated you for this Hoot Award. What is that? It's a page in the newspaper where students can send in a, an appreciation letter to the paper to show how much they appreciate their teachers. In, uh, in what she wrote about you, she said, you deserve this award because you're a great teacher that makes sure every student shines. What does that mean? Well, I try to be kind to every student, no matter what's going on. Um, I make goals attainable for students. I give them second chances and encourage them to always just do better and try better and that tell them they're capable of doing better. She also said when we enter her room she greets us with a smile, like she's really glad to see us. Are you actually glad to see them? That is a true statement. I do love my little kids. All of you know you're my little babies. That's true fact. basketball at North. And also at February 15th, 8th grade basketball games at Neo, at Neo Show. February 18th, 7th grade boys basketball tourney at North. At Feb also at February 18th, 8th grade game with basketball tourney at Neo Show. 
Why's James crying? Cause he just got dunked down. I ain't even lying. Yo, he just got dunked down. Yeah, yeah, he was standing in the way. So I jumped up in the air and I ducked it on his face. Why's James crying? Cause he just got dunked down. I ain't even lying. Yo, he just got dunked down. Yeah, yeah, he was standing in the way. So I jumped up in the air and I ducked it on his face. Don't, don't forget you can be part of the SMS Weekly Digest. All you have to do is send in still footage or videos or pictures you have of events going on here at South. You can send these items at eleadersms at gmail.com. Would you like to see more projects by the eleaders? Then check out our website at smseleaders.com. Okay, we're done. Yay.